Hey there everyone, this is Brian Goulish and thought I would put together a little video documentary series on recovering from shoulder surgery. Two years ago I had my right shoulder done, a uh, complete tear of my labrum rotator cuff and I also had subchromial decompression taken care of. And this year, uh, yesterday, October 11th, 2018, I had my left shoulder done and the doctor said it was an exact mirror image of my right shoulder. So I'm looking here at the report, left shoulder arthroscopy, labral tear, trans tendon rotator cuff repair with biological patch, which is a bovine patch, and subacromial decompression. This time it's a lot easier in recovery because A, I know what to expect, um, but B, it's on my non-dominant arm. Uh, two years ago it was my right arm, my right hand. Not being able to use your right hand to do simple things like feed yourself, brush your teeth, tie your shoes. Uh, and yes, you can tie your shoes with one hand if you're able to do so. Um, those things just kind of, you take for granted. So this time around, I knew the pain and what to expect, uh, recovering from surgery, when the nerve block would uh, wear off and when I needed to start taking my pain medication for maintenance, uh, my icing, uh, how to sleep, uh, little things like that. And I also know what to expect in the long run. So I know by about the end of this weekend, today is Friday, by Monday or Tuesday, the greater deal of pain should subside. And I should be able to do a lot of things, including shower, uh, take some walks, get some exercise in, light exercise, do my pendulum exercises with a soup can uh, so I don't get this shoulder to lock up on me. We want to keep as much as a complete range of motion as we can so the recovery uh, starting in two weeks with physical therapy, uh, I'll get back on my feet and be able to use both arms sooner rather than later. So what did the doctor do and how did this happen? I think it was just a combination of a wear and tear, years of sports, football, basketball, golf, uh, lifting as well, lifting weights. Uh, the right shoulder was more from football. The left one, I think, just took a little bit longer for wear and tear. And had I not thrown a football and felt that pop and tore my right shoulder two years ago, you know, I'd probably be in the same boat to where both of them would be in the same condition now. So that's how I got here. Um, all things considered, I decided to have the surgery now because my wife and I are having a baby, our first son, in February. February 28th to be exact is the due date. So I wanted to be able to get this done now so it would not hamper or impede me being a father when Bennett, our son, is born. So I went into the surgery optimistic and positive, Dr. Darren Frank. He's with Allegheny Health Network, Sports Medicine, and he's actually the team orthopedic surgeon for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So if you're from Pittsburgh and you see the Allegheny Health Network hashtag living proof commercials, Dr. Frank is more often than not the doctor that's on the field with the players and going through the testing and things like that to show that you get the same care as you do with the players. And I couldn't thank Dr. Frank enough, you know, his expertise um, and his long term and long time doing these types of surgeries, upper extremities, uh, you know, I'd go back to him for anything when it came from the waist up, wrists, shoulders, arms, anything that had to be done, neck. Um, I do have an orthopedic surgeon for my knee, Dr. Mahalan. He's great, um, great for knees. So this is, I believe, my sixth surgery. I've had two left knee surgeries. I've had a left wrist surgery, had my right shoulder done, I had corrective jaw surgery done, and I now had this left shoulder done. So uh, right now it's still a little bit of pain. We're managing it with some medication. Just got my first really good meal in 24 hours later. Um, a lot of the time this might be TMI, but when you're taking these pain meds and then from the anesthesia, you can be constipated. But unfortunately, um, or fortunately for me, that is not the case this time. Um, I feel better because of it. I did not sleep well last night, but that was expected around 9.30 or 10 o'clock, the nerve block wore off. So I took my, my Percocet and um, I may have taken it a little bit too late uh, to stop the pain from setting in, but now I think we're controlling it, we're managing it well. Uh, the rest of the day, I'll just kind of hang out and watch television with the dogs, um, You know, maybe get out for a slight walk, just go around the yard, get some fresh air. And tonight, I will probably try my first little bit of exercising, getting my arm out of the sling, get the ice pack off, um, and drop the arm straight down. I'll bend at the waist and use a very, very light, small soup can um, and do those pendulum motions to start that range of motion exercise. And then tomorrow, 48 hours past my surgery, I'll actually be able to take off my 
um, bandages and clean the wounds and actually get in the shower for my first shower in two days. Um, but right now, that's all I really have to say. We'll be posting videos here, you know, every other day or so, and especially when I get into the PT part of this, just to show everybody the progress, the progression. Uh, last time, it took about three and a half weeks I was out of my sling. Um, by week four, I was in physical therapy um, three days a week, and it was about seven to eight weeks before I was able to go back to work because I was comfortable using both arms, especially with the right hand dominant. It took a little bit longer, so maybe I can back a little sooner this time. And I would expect by sometime in February or March, I'll be back in the gym doing very light exercises. It took me about eight to 10 months, maybe even a little bit longer two years ago um, to actually lift like I used to, I'm usually lifting, you know, pull ups, pull downs, push ups, you know, any, any work with the upper body. Uh, but in, on light of that, in light of that, I am able to work on my chicken legs. So I'll be on the Stairmaster a lot, getting my cardio and doing a lot of calf exercises and, and leg presses and whatnot, things I can do lower body while the upper body is recovering. So I uh, hope you guys tune in. Hope this will be a help for my journey when I, I get back to you. Um, you know, again, every couple days I'll be on here and, and checking your progress, my progress out. And hopefully, you know, if you're experiencing the same thing, if you've gone through the same thing, you know, comment below. And if you're about to have one of these